What's the gaming performance difference between a $250 and a $500 CPU? Well, we've tested the Ryzen 5 9600X and Ryzen 7 9800X 3D with the 9070 XT to see if you can really tell them apart. Starting off at 4K in Call of Duty's Black Ops 6 Zombies, and there is a small but noticeable performance difference. We're talking 119 frames per second from the 9600X and 135 frames per second from the 9800X3D. That's around about 15 or 16 frames a second. Sticking with the 4K resolution for a moment, and Cyberpunk actually sees a completely identical result between the two CPUs with 80.6 FPS on both, while Alan Wake 2 sees just 0.7 frames per second of difference. So really then, not that high. Now the reason is because at this higher resolution, you're more likely to be bound by a GPU bottleneck than a CPU bottleneck. Where things change is when we drop down to the lower resolutions. Here, the CPU becomes much more important. In Marvel's Rivals at 1440p high, we see a pretty astonishing 37 frame per second difference between the 9600X and 9800X 3D. In Call of Duty's Black Ops 6 Zombies, we see around 35 frames per second difference between the Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 chip. While in Alan Wake, which was the game before that previously had virtually no difference in frame rate, we do see around a 6 FPS uplift this time around. And at 1080p, the CPU becomes even more important still. The takeaway then is that overspending on a CPU, especially for playing at higher resolutions, is just a waste of money. And it all depends on how many pixels you're looking to push when it comes to your CPU choice. For 4K, the CPU really doesn't matter that much. For 1080 and 1440p, it becomes a lot more important.